Hello everyone. Welcome to Wednesday's version of Take 5. Walking through the book of James, Take 5 now goes on to James chapter 5. How's your Wednesday going? It's hump day, isn't it? Um, Tuesday night, last night, I'm a big baseball fan, I don't know if you are, the Indians made it into the playoffs, big home run in the 10th inning, so this is going to be a good day. And the positivity of, of that carries into the chapter 5 of James, I'm stretching here, but James chapter 5 begins with the alarming words of a prophet, if I could say that. James goes back and forth. Sometimes he sounds like Solomon. Sometimes he sounds like one of the Old Testament prophets. This time he sounds like a strong Old Testament prophet. And this time he is, his subject of railing is against the rich. Listen to these words. I'm going to read James chapter 5, uh, 1 through 6. And then I want to talk a little bit about the MO of a prophet back then, but even for today as well. Listen to these strong prophetic words um, railing against rich people. Listen to what he says. Come now, you rich, weep and howl for the miseries that are coming upon you. Your riches have rotted and your garments are moth-eaten. Your gold and silver have corroded and their corrosion will be evidence against you and will eat your flesh like fire. Whoa, what's, he's having a bad day. He continues on. You have laid up treasures. You have laid up treasure in the last day. Behold the wages of the laborers who mowed your fields, which you kept back by fraud, are crying against you. And the cries of the harvesters have reached the ears of the Lord of hosts. Your, your wicked ways in your richness are crying against you. He's, he's letting them have it. You have lived on the earth in luxury and in self-indulgence. You have fattened your hearts in a day of slaughter. You have condemned and murdered the righteous person. He doesn't even resist you. Whoa, those are really strong words. But that's what prophets do. Prophets speak strong words, sometimes even blanket statements about categories. And they need to be heard by society. Does it apply to everyone in the category? The rich? Not necessarily. Um, are they highlighting a societal problem about wealth and power? Yes. Everybody? No. Problem? Yes. In some ways you see it today. Among all of the crazy things that are happening these days, um, so much of the, the racial tensions and injustices are happening today. So at times, prophets, I've even taken on the, the cloak of a prophet at times, have talked about those. At times, is there white privilege? In, in a sense, yes. Does it apply to all white people? Are all white people racists? No. But is it a societal problem? Indeed it is. And so take notice. At times in men's ministries, uh, we or I will talk about the problem of pornography. Are all men addicted to pornography? No. But is it a societal problem? You bet it is. So don't just say, it doesn't apply to me. I can't deal with that. No, it does. If you're part of a society, it applies to you. And here in this text, he's dealing with the rich. And relatively speaking, we're all pretty rich people, aren't we? And so his cautions apply them to you. You might be the most, uh, the richest person in the world and maybe the most generous person in the world. Excellent. Then you are the model that's contradicting the problem that he's describing. So here at James 5, one through six is a railing uh, and a warning against the rich. And, and if I could even just summarize three things that I think are necessary warnings for the rich that come from this passage and are part in general. One is false security. A rich person, somebody that has the, the right amount of means can get their security from their means instead of from the, from the Lord. Uh, the second, we can use our money and therefore our power to control others. Be careful. Security, control, and then thirdly, pride. Be careful of those things. J James's words are really, really strong, and I don't want us to miss them today. I've created something from this passage. I've created a document called uh, Money and Worldviews. Uh, there's a link 
uh, in the description below this uh, video. Click on it, read it, because I think it's really important for us to understand uh, the power of money, but also in the Lord's hands and with obedient people, the grace that money can be in our lives and for others as well. So that's the word of the prophet today. Strong words, hear them, but apply them for righteousness even in your own life. Uh, get a hold of that link as well. I'll see you on Thursday.